Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today we are buying three Halloween horses. So this is a big record for me. I usually don't buy a lot of magical horses. I usually don't buy this many horses all at once. So this is really interesting. So it turns out I actually do really like the Pepita now that I've actually had some time to look at it and like contemplate if I want it. And I also like Nemain and Laverna well enough that I want to buy them. So this is a time lapse video because I actually messed up the audio the first time I recorded it. So this is actually a voiceover and then the video is sped up. But I'm going to talk generally about why I chose to buy these horses and why I chose their names uh, and also discuss their gates and movements a little bit. So starting off with the Pepita, I it turns out I actually did like the magical coat for a while. I didn't like it, but now that I've kind of been seeing people wearing it with different outfits and also showing off the normal coat, I really did like the normal coat as well. So the Pepita I did buy, and the name comes from actually Rattle's video when uh, I think it was like a parody skit about turning the, the pumpkin horse into a pumpkin pie. So I, I just saw that video this this year and I thought it was really funny. So that's why I chose the Pepita and the name Pumpkin Pie. So as for the Nemain horse, I do like that horse as well. Um, my biggest issue with the horse was the fact that the fire flame uh, texture on its backside was it's just like painted on. It's not an actual separate texture. And, you know, you would think with a texture that looks as three-dimensional as it does, it would actually be physically three-dimensional within, like, you know, the texture, I guess. Um, I'm sorry if I'm misusing the term texture because I'm not a game developer. I'm not quite sure if I'm using that word correctly. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted that to look more three-dimensional. It still looks good, though. It still looks, um, you know, very detailed. Uh, and then also, too, the normal coat. Normally, um, I would feel like, you know, a solid black should be a little darker than that. But I think on this horse, it looks good. Also, too, this is my first draft horse. Um, I have a North Swedish horse, which I don't know if they consider that to be a draft horse. But this is my first, like, big, chunky horse, like a Shire or a Clydesdale or uh, Irish Cobb or anything like that. So this is my first draft horse in my stable. So welcome home, Nemain. In terms of the name that I chose for this for this horse, um, first of all, I wanted to go with something fire-related because obviously it is, you know, the in the inspiration of fire. And then also, too, uh, I wanted something dark related because the, the horse's coat is dark and then the rest of it is very bright, light fire color. So I went with Night Flame. Uh, later on, I decided, oh, shoot, Night Fury would be cool. But I, I actually like Night Flame as it is. And then also, too, uh, another thing I really liked about the horse was the mane and tail compared to the body of the horse. So the body of the horse is very dark. It's also, it's very detailed, it's very contrasty, but the mane and tail looks very nice as well. I really like the swirl uh, in the mane. And then also too, just the color gradient from the, the blackish red to the bright yellow. I think that looks really good. It was definitely an upgrade from the Morrigan horse, uh, the old Winefell horse. And finally, we have Laverna. So with Laverna, I really like the design of her mask basically um and then there's a lot of other things i like about laverna as well so the mask the bigger thing i liked about that was it was an actual separate texture on the horse's face so you know if you look at it at a certain angle it's not painted onto the horse's face it's actually a separate feature of the horse and it's actually wearing that mask um and then also too i like the dappling of the normal and the magic coat the one thing I didn't like about the magic coat was the pattern on its uh, hind legs. I thought it looked kind of like out of place compared to what's on the mask because the mask like it has a similar thing. But the issue was that it looks kind of how should I say it looks very flowery on the backside because it's like a leaf. It's literally a leaf. So I get that. But I just wanted that to have a little bit of like a stronger form, I guess, like a straight line kind of kind of deal. I don't know, because that's what the mask looks like. So that's what I was kind of looking for there. Um, and then also, too, with the tail, I didn't really like the tail that much because it has this pinkish undertone to it. I wish it was kind of more like a bluish. Uh, but at the same time, the tomb hoof is already a bone horse and it's already blue. So I feel like the, the choice was to brighten up the purple color a little bit with the, with the magic purple coat. 
Uh, but anyways, let's talk about how I chose the name. So I am a big Taylor Swift fan and her recent album Midnight's. Uh, the first track on Midnight's is called Lavender Haze. So I went with Lavender Hazel because first of all, it does sound like Lavender Haze. And then also too, the Hazel name, she actually is a brown horse. So um, with the with the normal coat, so she is brown. So it makes sense to call her Lavender Hazel. Um, and I think that's a great name. Uh, as we can see in the next few clips here, I'm actually just testing out the gates and the movements of the horses. So the Fjord, my biggest issue with the Fjord is that the extended canter, the front legs really flick up. Um, and it looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks very choppy with the animations there. But other than that, the animations for the Fjord are fine. I've always liked the Fjord, the Gen 3 Fjords. And I think that if they decide to make a change to this horse, because it is one of the older Gen 3s, definitely that extended canter needs to be fixed. So as for Night Flame, like I said, this is my first like Shire horse. This is my first draft horse. So when the Shires first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of the animations, the, the gates and stuff. I liked it well enough that I was like, yeah, this looks, you know, well designed in my opinion. But the biggest issue I had was that these are big, heavy horses. I would expect them to kind of move a little heavier, a little deeper into their movements, I guess. Um, I'm not a horse expert or anything like that. So that's just kind of my general impression of these horses, these breeds. So, yeah, when I first saw the Shire horses, I wasn't too into their gates. But kind of looking into the Nemain, right? The Nemain has the fire under its hooves. So I guess it's kind of like you know, touching hot objects is like very light on your feet. So I kind of, I don't know, I guess I kind of get it now. But in any case, the Shire generally has some really nice animations. Um, and you can see I'm like comparing like the hard stop and the pivots and stuff like that with this horse. Another nice thing about the Shire is the way that its mane moves, mane and tail moves. Um, I think they're really getting pretty good at animating manes and tails because that's hard, right? Because hair is a very like it's not a solid texture i guess it's like uh very individual like individual strands and stuff like that so how do you how do you do that in a video game where it has to be like one solid thing so definitely a step up from how the frisian main moves oh my gosh don't even get me started on how the main of the frisian moves but uh yeah i really like the movement of the main and tail on the shire horse and finally for Lavender Haze. So this is an American paint horse. I've been hearing some people say that they've ruined the American paint horse with the new bending update. Um, I was trying to look for that with the tail specifically, and I actually did kind of find an issue. I felt like the tail was starting to like clip into the back legs of the horse. So I don't know if that's how it was previously. I'd have to like double check other videos before this bending update to see what it looks like. But I did kind of notice that. Somebody else was mentioning that the very top of the tail, it looks kind of interesting or weird with a tail bow on it. I didn't really notice that. So if you have any information on the American Paint Horse, how that was changed or supposedly ruined, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, um, I've always liked the American Paint Horse. I really like their gates. The one gate that I have an issue with is like the gallop and extended canter, the way it just kind of pecks its head like a chicken. <laughs> um, I thought that was kind of interesting and choppy looking. But yeah, in general, the magic coat, the normal coat looks very nice with this horse. Um, and then also too, another thing I had an issue with with Laverna was the main braid. So I don't think this is a horse I can use for realistic roleplay competitions because of the braids. It has to be like the, the show braids, button braids, I guess. I understand what they were going with with these braids because these type of braids, they kind of look like bones a little bit. But if for realistic roleplay competitions, I just can't use it. And same with Nemain, honestly, and the Fjord. I can't use those horses for realistic roleplay competitions, but that's okay because they're, they're pretty. <laughs> um, in any case, I really do genuinely like these horses. Uh, that I do have some issues with them, but overall, they're not like game-breaking uh, issues that I have with them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you uh, learned something about, you know, like, why I come up with these horses' names and uh, what interests me about horses in Star Stable. So let me know down in the comments below if you bought any of these horses and what are your thoughts on them, as well as what are your thoughts on the Halloween update as a whole. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.